can we lock down certain folders within Google Shared Drives? Uh, hello, I would like to find out if the owner of a shared drive can restrict other users in the shared drive from viewing content in a folder. Unfortunately, that is not currently available, but it is my understanding that Google are working on it. So right now, the only option that you have working with Google Drive and working with shared files is to actually set up your permissions on the top level or the root level of a shared file. And so for example, if I go to our team training file here, I can manage members and that gives me the ability to choose what people as individuals or groups of people are able to access uh, in the different areas of this shared drive, but it's only gonna let me do it at the top level of the drive. You can see here, I've got the ability to set um, different levels of access and permissions, uh, but it really only goes on the top level. And what Google are attempting to replicate here is the idea of a shared server drive. Typically, you would give someone just access to the shared drive for their area of business or for their team. And you can see here that we've got quite a number of shared drives inside our business. We've decided to get pretty granular with who we wanna have access to what. And that just means that we have a shared drive for each different area of the business. Now, I cover this in one of our Google Drive videos on our channel, if you're interested in checking that out on how to get your permissions right inside your Google Drive. And that takes you through the whole process of starting with setting up permissions groups and right through to applying those permissions groups inside your Google Workspace to your individual shared drives as well. And that's really useful to go through that process because a part of that process is to decide, do you wanna stick with basic, simple permission structures, which may be just one group for executives, one group for managers, and one group for the rest of the team? Or do you wanna go for what we would call complex or more sophisticated permissions where you set up a group for each logical area of the business? And my recommendation would be, if you've got less than 10 employees, probably stick to the simple permission structure where you've just got two or three or four groups and it's all pretty simple and straightforward. And that's what most businesses do. They'll have one folder for like the business owner and then one folder for general staff that everybody can access. But as your business grows, it's important for you to start to lock down who has access to different files. You don't want everyone on the sales team to have access to the finances. You don't want everyone in the, you know, the delivery or the support or the, you know, maybe the customer service team to have access to your executive documents. And so that's where you'll start locking things down in different areas of the business. And the easiest way to do that is just to create multiple shared drives inside of Google Drive until Google gives us some kind of feature where we can lock down individual folders within a shared drive. Now, some customers ask us, well, you know, what if I then have to create one shared drive per customer or one shared drive per employee? For example, if I wanna store project folders inside Google shared drives, or if I wanna share employee files with the individual employees. You know, we can't give every employee access to the HR drive because then they'd see everything from every employee. And my response to that is you're able to create quite a number of shared drives before you tap out on that limit. And I'll go ahead and just double check that number. Limit on shared drives. Okay, so drive lists up to a thousand shared drives in the navigation. That's interesting. You may even be able to create more than that. I don't know if there's an obvious limit. Wonderful. Well, I guess if it's just a folder, you can always access it via the URL. Cool, so that looks like it's virtually unlimited. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.